Hello you guys, it's me one more time. In this time, we're gonna use .NET inside MuleSoft and not, we're not gonna code using C Sharp, BBNet, or F Sharp inside MuleSoft. Instead, we're gonna use one of the libraries where we're going to create using Visual Studio and we're gonna reference this library inside the one Mule applications. And I'm gonna show you how it works. Uh, there's, I know there's a couple of video about this, but let's try it one more time to see something newer because a couple of things changed since that last video that I saw two years ago and this video that I have right now for you. Thank you. Hey, you guys, let's start this. Uh, we're gonna create the API specification, the RAML, uh, just to follow like the good practice and Let's keep you up to date. Let's call this .NET API. Just to put any name. Let's wait to create this. Uh, so let's add a description. The description is get my age using .NET DLL. And we're gonna add our resources, which is gonna be age. It's gonna be a get. This get is gonna have query parameters. The first query parameter is gonna be, let's call it year of birth. The type is gonna be in the string. We're gonna keep this simple just to do it quickly. And we're gonna require true gonna require the, that value. The other value is gonna be current year. The type is gonna be a string. Of course, it's gonna be required true. Let's add a response. Two hundred. Just keep it simple. Remember, description, age. And we're gonna add a body, which is gonna be an application JSON, and we need the type. So let's create the type. Types. This type, let's call it output. And the output is gonna have some. Damn. Yeah. Let's look at properties. And this property is gonna call age, and it's gonna return an integer. Because you don't have 20.5 years. Uh, let's add uh, something else. Let's add a new folder and let's call this folder example. And to that folder example, we're gonna add a new file, which is gonna be other and it's gonna be JSON. Let's call it file. And this guy is gonna have the age and he's gonna have my age, which is 58. I'm joking, it's 68. Once we have that, now we can add a body. Oh, then I already have a body. So we can add a type, and this type is gonna be output, right? And we're gonna add an example, and this example is gonna be include from example folder in the file JSON. And let's test this. Let's test this. Try it. Your fear. 1986 and the current year is 2021. Send that. And this is our example. Yeah, cool. We're good for this. For here. So we're gonna go to our to our window machine that we have with the environment that we need and we're gonna create a new project. It's gonna be a library, and I'm gonna use C Sharp to create this library based on the .NET framework. So it's gonna be calculation, age calculation, I'm gonna call that. For that time, it's gonna be K, okay, create. So we're gonna keep simple this 
and we're gonna create only one method, one static method, method which is gonna return an integer, and we're gonna give, call it age calculation. This is gonna receive two values. One is gonna be year of birth, and the other one, both are gonna be integer, so it's gonna be current year. I was about to put current age in this now. I like to do this uh, in something that is kind of my signature in my development. Sorry. Again. Damn. We are humans, right? So I always call this variable, which means return in English. And you can do this. Return. Here's something done, but I'm old school, so I like to use try catch. And we're gonna do the calculation. Let's keep it simple, guys. So it's gonna be current year minus year of birth. That's gonna fill return return. And then Nothing wrong is gonna happen because we're gonna do the simple stuff. Once we have that, we're gonna change it back to release. Because we're gonna use the release and we're going, we are going to build a solution. So we have the files. Let's find the files here. Page calculation and both and the files we're going to need are the beam folder, release. These are the two files we're gonna use. I'm gonna copy these files and I'm gonna keep it on my... I'm gonna create a new mill project. So let's call it sys api.net. And we're gonna grab the RAML we just created in the design center. So we have here, .net. Click OK, let's wait to load. Click on finish and let's wait to build. So we have our project already built. Now we need to go to the exchange and find the dot .NET model. I'm gonna click, and we're gonna add it, and we're gonna click finish. Once we have that, we're gonna grab that execute uh, component that is in the Microsoft Internet component and we're gonna uh, Okay, the thing's playing with me. Let's go. Okay, now it's moving. Cool. We're gonna paste it in there. And we're gonna first the, the first step what we're gonna do is do the computer the connected configurations. So we're gonna go to assemble, and do you remember this? Uh, do you remember the file that we created a minute, a minute ago? Like these two files, we're gonna copy those files and we're gonna paste it in this folder just for this example. There's a lot of stuff that you can do uh, leaving those files in there or have, or have it in a remote location, but this is the best option that you can do. So we're gonna put those files in there and we're gonna create a new connector configuration. We're gonna go to assemble and we're gonna choose the DLL file that is on the source, main, sources, age calculation, and we're gonna click open. In general, we're gonna choose singleton as a, our scope and we're gonna leave all the, all the rest of the values on false. And we can click in test connection if you want, it's gonna do the testing to see if the DLL is good for the environment. So when it's done that, it said this connection go. I want to show you th something that is going on, and that's why I'm using Windows. Uh, I'm using AnyPoint Studio in Windows. I have AnyPoint Studio here in my Mac, but I want to show you something, and that, that and this is one of the reasons I have two environments actually to work with whatever I want. One because I have a .NET uh, background, and and I like to have 
all those stuff. So I'm gonna do kind of the same here. I'm gonna grab the execute file. I think I already have, uh, I don't have the connector. So let's do the same, the sample. You know, let me check if I have, oh, it's here. Cool, let's find resources. So I have the two files in here. So let's create a connector. Let's go to assemble and assemble source, same path, the sources, edge calculation, open, go to general, singleton, and we're gonna test the connection and what's gonna happen is gonna say, you are not in the right platform. It, and this is because we are using that net framework. We are not using that net standard or that net core or that net find. And that's another point that I want to touch later on this video. Because of that, you can click OK and it's going to still failing, but you there's going to come another step that you need to do and it's not going to work in there. So let's go back to our Windows machine. Click OK. And what's going to happen, the thing is going to load all the methods and the libraries that we have inside that DDL file, that library file built in .NET. The next step that we need to do is find the method that we built, which is edge calculation that you see in here. And we need to add the two parameters that we have in there, which is current year a uh, year of birth, a uh, year of birth and current year. For that, we're gonna use a transform message to build that object. Actually, you know what? We're gonna copy the names from here. And actually, it's just to avoid the typos. Let's, uh, let's say I born in the 70s. Actually, you know what? I born in 1856. And we're gonna grab and copy the other value just to break the typos. And we're gonna paste it here. And the current year, of course, is 2021. Now we're gonna go to execute and inside the execute, we can do the easy thing and use the mapping here. And we're gonna map the values that we do have in the transform object. Cool, once we have that, you can go back and see the code in there. You can type the code or you can do it as I did. I'm just showing you the simple way to do it. Then we're gonna to go to transform message because they, they say here H58, we need to add this value here. So it's gonna show the default value 58, but with the calculation, it's gonna do it right. There's another thing that I like to do, and because uh, it's an, uh, because we're gonna make a, a get request, uh, let's call, Let's go attributes. And we're gonna use query params. And in the query params is your of birth. And we're gonna do the same here. Attributes, query params, current year. Now we're gonna grab those values from the query parents that we're gonna do using the request. And, and there you go. It's gonna fill the, the variables inside the transform message. and gonna send that to the execute uh, and the arguments. And it's, it's already mapped in the arguments and it's gonna return the, in the transform message. Let's run the project, save it. I'm gonna jump this part again because it's gonna take a while. 
Okay, we're gonna use the console first. Let's click here. It's gonna open the console. And actually, I don't wanna put it so big, so let's try it. Here's a pair. 19 and 2021. Send it. And I don't know why it's giving an error, but it's give uh, that I have a 126. Let's check that error because it has to be something here. I'm pretty sure it's with this value here. So let's fix this. Though so let's try to fix this. You know what? I told you that I'm gonna keep simple the stuff. So and actually, let's try one more time. We're humans. I just made this, and this is how it works. So try and catch so let's try one more time um, from the beginning try and let's say you're born in 1990 now it's 2021 and there you go you got 31 years and that's the old sample. There's a couple of stuff that I need to do that I need to uh, tell you. The first thing is, in the other videos I didn't watch, they didn't have like a, or they didn't have the need to use uh, the mapping in the argument. I have to do it to be able to work with this. And the other stuff, like if you want to use the DL that the DL stuff that net framework only you need to use your windows local machine and you won't be able to use this on mac and there's another thing that didn't work in here i tried to use that net core and that net five and actually i started using that net five and didn't work so well here so those are the things those are the limitations that this model have but if you want to use like a uh .NET Framework SDK, you can you do it, you can use it, you can, like a, my recommendation, use it, if you wanna use it, use for simple stuff. Don't try to, don't try to bring all your .NET knowledge to, to MuleSoft because it's not the idea, you're gonna lose the, all the advantage that MuleSoft bring uh, for trying to bring all the stuff to this new technology. So that's it, guy. I hope this uh, video likes uh, to you and have fun.